I'll find out what our earliest is. Like, you know, our earliest does, and then we add the words, or we set it up so that we're done by certain lines. And then we can come back off. But I imagine it's going to take us half an hour to an hour to get on the boat and come back off.
Seahawks. Seahawks. And for uh, Dustin, I need a kitchen implement other than a spatula. Melon baller. Melon baller. <laughs> Seahawks. All right. Now remember, if their word is spoken within the scene, they have to make an exit. They can't get back on stage until their word is said again. Now to get them started, uh, these actors, they're at some event. They're watching an event. What are they watching? Any event. You can okay, you guys are watching ice skating. No. Hey, Bell and Ball, grab yourself some of that. Yeah, right. I'll be right back, okay? Is it over there? Is that the 7-Up? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Alright. I actually brought a whole case. Alright, I have another whole case. I got the 7-Up. Oh. Here. I'm I'll go get That's the not 7-Up. <laughs> That's right. No. See, I got the real stuff. Don't yeah. 47. 47? Uh, 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 that's such a weird amount that they put into that, that box. 47? That's yeah. awesome. Oh. They're missing it. No. She just did a Did you see that? Exactly. I saw Where it. Where was Melon We had a bet. Woo! That triple Emmy was sweet as seven up. They did like 47 <laughs> twirls. <laughs> so so 47 twirls. Can you believe that? 47 twirls. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it makes people want to seven up. Just thinking of how hard those ice skaters are. What did are I miss? Working. What did I miss? You missed the 47 twirls. Oh, yeah. uh, I no. love when they 47 twirls. I think that was the Seahawk. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going They did the most beautiful Seahawk I've ever seen. But the Seahawk does not, doesn't really even exist. Well, in this world. they did 47 Seahawks. I think 47 <laughs> Seahawks is not what's oh, That was 46 Seahawks. 46 maybe. <laughs> He doesn't know the difference between a Seahawk and a melon ball. But she looks good. <laughs> that leotard, am I right? Oh, she looks amazing. Yeah. Look at look at that. Oh, All 47 years of her. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All 47 years of her. <laughs> Where's this day of melon ball? I made a bet with him. I don't know. I don't know. Melon balls are not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's what his parents. Do you want some more? Yeah, let me get some more. Uh, what is this? Seahawks? <laughs> don't touch that! I know. That was my Seahawk! What do you get out of here? Dude! <laughs> no, that was really me. Watch the show. Here you go. That was for you. Oh my gosh. I love figures get in. Yeah. That makes me want to know drink. How many drinks have you had? 47. Oh. <laughs> 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 figure scares all of us. <laughs> And bring a chair. All right, this is a game called Expert Translator. Uh, let's see, I believe, okay, Nick is the host of a talk show. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach, here on the end, is his guest. The only thing is, Zach cannot speak English. <laughs> and Carrie in the middle there is his translator. So, uh, let's get, uh, what is Zach an expert in? He's an expert in something. Astrophysics. Astrophysics. <coughs> and give me a non-English speaking language. Esperanto. Esperanto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Zach is a, uh, an expert in astrophysics and he speaks in Esperanto. <laughs> All right, take it away. Morning, you two. Welcome back to uh, How To Astrophysics. <laughs> Today I 
have with me a very special expert on astrophysics. Um, now, sir, I didn't quite catch your name. I don't speak your language. Could you please ask the gentleman to tell us his name? He says his name is Boom Boom Manchevitz. <laughs> and then all of this happened, Mr. Manchevitz. So, today, Boom Boom, we're going to ask our first questions. What is astrophysics? Simply stated, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, Boo Boo. Actually, I'm going to open this up to our, to our chat questions. I'm actually looking. Looks like we have a lot of, a lot of questions coming in right now. I mean, usually people like raise up a little flag on the internet when they, oh yes, uh, do we have a question for Mr. Boom Boom? What's a black hole? <laughs> um, I think our question for you, Mr. Boom Boom, it might be a bit below your level, but what is a black hole? <laughs> 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 he says it is something to behold. <laughs> Insightful. <laughs> it seems we have another question rolling in, probably from this side of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that must be the dark web. Yes. <laughs> what about quantum entanglement? Ah. Oh. Quantum entanglement, the question we've all been yearning to hear Boom Boom. <laughs> Mr. Boom Boom, I'm sorry, man, say it one more time. Quantum entanglement theory. I just, I get entangled every time. <laughs> boom Boom, please tell us about quantum entanglement theory. Quantum entanglement theory. theory. He says quantum entanglement wraps his intestines up, and so he's so nervous he cannot explain it right now. Just, just, wow, wow. Say so much without even using words, and I think yes, we have one time for one more question here. How to astrophysics? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, How do you astrophysic? And and really, because I've been as lost as the rest of us. <laughs> How do we, sir? Boom boom, astrophysics. <laughs> How do we ask? Yes, yes. How? How do we ask? 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 I, I, I've never heard that before, but boom, boom, you've, you've proven to know your astrophysics. And, and thank you so much. I think this is all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for how to add I know how to astrophysics to your LinkedIn profile. <laughs> we will be back next episode. Thank you so much. stage and we have a special surprise guest ladies and gentlemen your light guy your announcer Steve Diz Dizbro <laughs> right, we are now going to play a game called the return deck and I need Steve and Ethan to uh,
Leave the room, please. You okay? I love this. Oh my god, so do I. <laughs> Alright, uh, in this game, Steve and Ethan, they are uh, going to return something to a to a return desk at Walmart. But they do not know what they're returning. And through a series of clues given by Diz here, hopefully they will guess what they're returning. Now where your job comes in is whenever they get kind of close to the item that they're returning, go ooh, so they know they're on the right track. And uh, because and also this game is a subtle form of torture. So, uh, let's get our things. For Ethan, what is Ethan bringing back to the store? And make it a normal item, don't make it a weird item, just a, a normal everyday item. Uh, toaster. Okay, Ethan is bringing back a toaster. And Steve is bringing back... A box of disposable plates. A box of, a box of disposable plates. Toaster, box of disposable plates. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they're going to come in and, and Steve will, uh, will help them out. So, let's get it back in here. On the count of three, please yell, come in. One, two, three. Come in!
but but I mean, do you do you have a big family? I mean, that would be why you'd need so many of them, right? I guess I maybe I should just go to paper plates. <laughs> That is definitely the right track. <laughs> what you're trying to do. I mean, I mean you, got, like, you, you have a big family. You could, I mean, all of you maybe could use these. I mean, that must be why you bought such a huge container. But you think about that. <laughs> okay, look. Um, <coughs> damn store intercom. <laughs> hey, try to turn off that damn intercom! Look. Plug it in. You don't like batter with it. You, you, you use it to prepare food. I mean, it's. Do you like? <gasps> are you are you one of those celiacs or gluten intolerant people? You can't eat that stuff. You got celiac disease. <laughs> you gluten intolerant because you definitely should not have bought this. It could kill you, especially if you used it properly. <laughs> you should make bread. There's other things you can do with bread too that are Wait, awesome. Bread maker? <laughs> bread makers are over there. This is a later, this is a later stage appliance for that whole process. <laughs> My bathtub. <laughs> With water in it, I know how you kids sometimes get in and don't use water or anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, now, in the magic of improv, <laughs> Ethan will suddenly become Steve's manager and will help Steve over here figure out what he's bringing back. <laughs> This is my manager, Ethan, and he's going to help me. Um, he tried to eat these. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> he like skipped the whole step where you put stuff on them. What do you usually eat? Well, I usually yeah. eat like, I like uh, paper napkins. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, oh. so I wouldn't eat a lot of meat. Um, <laughs> well, you got this big box of these things here. Yeah, you just, why do you need so many? Boxes, though. Is it because you just throw them away afterwards? Is that it? Are they take one and throw the box out? No, um, I try to be careful. Are they Kleenex? Sorry. I don't know what I would use them for. Ew. Look, I eat Kleenex. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, it's, it's his thing. Yeah, that's my thing. It's kind of weird. I'll be on Oprah next month. But. <laughs> Thank you. Why would you have so many of these unless you've got like a big family that you're trying to feed? How often do you have like. How, how big is your family? I have other people in my family. <laughs> that is a lot to say. This is a 250 count, so that's good. That could be, that could be, you could feed your family two and a half times over. So would my family be eating toilet paper? No. No. They'd be eating off these. Yeah, off of these. Off of these. Yeah, you could use plates. Planning on some, to do some activity. What are they planning on doing? Camping trip. 
Could you be more specific? What what kind of heist? Uh, liquor store. A video. Liquor store. I heard you are planning a liquor store heist. Go. Hey guys, I I think I'm starting to sober up, and we got to do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need more liquor. Mm. <laughs> um, I don't want any more pop pop. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Johnny! <laughs> what a perfect heist! Oh, I gotta, I gotta start third grade tomorrow, Papa. I don't feel too good. But Johnny, you know you can't do math sober. <laughs> you know what? I, I know how to pick locks. No. <laughs> and and you know what? you know how to count now. This. You know how to count now. I'm not wearing the ski mask again. I'm not going in. No, we don't have to do that. We don't. Well, we're just going to no. get all to me. No. Ronnie, this is what we do. We said, look how cute Johnny is. He's, 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 he's shaking, he this needs his good. booze, and he's all sick and stuff. So we said that. That's called withdrawal. Yeah. I, I know, but, but, but you know, these nice people out of shopping at Disney World, they don't know that. So we send them out. We send them right out to the lines. And we say, hey, hey, I'm just a little boy and I don't, I don't ever drink. And I, I'm going to need, I'm gonna need the keys to that liquor store. Oh, <laughs> right, so that don't work. <laughs> that don't work. Jody! <laughs> don't talk back to me! Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get up. Let's 
Let's do it. Let's go first. I think we're going to go with the you bet idea. We haven't come up with anything else. Okay. I can play with your ass if you want. Yeah, take the broken glass, stab him if they say no. Okay, but what if he tells me to pay for it? I ain't got no money. I, I don't want to rock it. That's, that's what this is all about. Robin, son, you've got to Hi. stand. I found a dollar. Give us one. Paul, give it. Be <laughs> not to rob people. To give you one more. Come get Come get Johnny. <laughs> for you. And at any, good, any moment, one of them makes you laugh, they will get dinged out of the scene and someone on the back line will take their place and take over their character and repeat the last line that they said. Give me an activity that someone would do around the house or in an amusement center or just out about town. Laundry. Laundry. Out about town doing no, laundry. Okay. <laughs> We're doing laundry. Whose underwears are these? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Whose underwear is this? Oh, my God. 
All right, the way this game works is um, these actors are going to act out a scene in 90 seconds. And then they're going to act out this very same scene in 60 seconds, and then 30 seconds, then 15, then 7, and then finally 3 seconds. Can it be done? We're about to find out. All right, so uh, to uh, get these guys started, I need a word. Bionic. Bionic. All right, you will now see a scene in 90 seconds. Go! Guys, check out my new horn. <laughs> what? This yeah! Is the buttons. Click, click. It should, it, it should make the robot dance. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's, it's 30, 12. Why does your robot have a flip phone? <laughs> <laughs> Who has a flip phone? Wait, well, this is a flip phone now. <laughs>
Oh, that's it. Three seconds. We will now see that same scene in zero seconds. <laughs> All right, now we're going to play a game called Moving People. And for this game, I need two volunteers from the audience. If you're interested in being on stage and doing something, please raise your hand. Okay. Wait, well, don't raise somebody's hand. Okay, there's one, and right back there. Yes, sir. I hope that's a sir. Is it a sir? Yes, it is. I'm oh, sorry, these lights are All right, yeah, you would go ahead and get on stage here. Hi. What's your name? Katie. Katie. Oh, Katie. Kevin? What's your name? Ace. Ace. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Katie and Ace, here's what you're going to do. Uh, these two actors right here, uh, they're going to be acting out, a, acting out a scene for you, but they cannot move. They're like a, they're like a, uh, a G.I. Joe. A G.I. Joe, yeah. yeah. A manly action figure. <laughs> a bargain. Uh, <laughs> so you can't move them. If you want to move them, you literally have to move them, and they will stay in place. If you want them to walk, just tap them on the back of their shoe, and they'll walk forward. If you want them to bend down, just press the back of their legs. If you, if you want their head moved, move their head. They cannot move without you. Listen to what they're saying, and you can help out in the scene. So go ahead and get behind them and put them in a position. Any position you like. Now, for the audience, these guys are doing some activity. <laughs> their poses, they're doing some activity somewhere out at about town other than Lockhart. Um, some of you might do in a park. What are they doing? Bird watching. Lawn darts. Inline skating. Lawn darts. They are playing lawn darts. Begin. Wow. Did you see how far they threw that? Really far. Oh my god, it hit that old lady in the leg. I'm Terrible. Oh man, I think it got her in the neck too. Oh, oh no, should we call like 911 or something? I, I mean, I've got like trains in. Um, oh god, that's looking really bad. Um, oh, okay, now the dog is. is uh, no, I'm scratching my head here. I don't know whether we should call or not. I, she may live. Where is a payphone? What is a payphone?
Then I'll rotate them. Then Zach and Don will do a scene. And then finally we're back to the beginning. We'll do two or three rotations like this. Uh, each one, each pairing is going to have their own scene that has nothing to do with the previous one or the next one. But the kicker is the first sentence of every scene is the last sentence spoken on the previous scene. So let's get these guys set up. Uh, give me a word for Carrie and Zach. Cat. What was this? Cat. Cat. I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. And then uh, give me a word for Dom and Carrie. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. <laughs> and then for Zach and Dom? Floor plan. What was that? Floor plan. Floor plan. All right, let's get back to the beginning. Cat! What? I didn't hear what you said. Cat! It's over there! Mm, are you sure? I thought I saw her over there. She's not there. I think you left the door open. <coughs> no, she Go chat, James. See that? Yeah. Alright, where do you think she could have gone this time? She went over to the you go check the window because she's in the window, and I'm gonna look around here. Right. Whiskers! 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 Oh man! Yeah. All right, check the windows. I didn't see her over there. Check the driveway. Why are these so damn expensive? <laughs> I don't know, this is my first day. I have no clue. Well, you're being paid two dollars an hour. You should know this. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Let me go find out. It might be that they're um, out of season. Out of season? Yeah. It's March. <laughs> Do you want it or not? How about this one? How do I just the Yeah, I, I, I'll show you. I used to work here. So, <laughs> you're on the computer? Okay. Click. Uh, do you have your card on you? Oh, man. Scan it in. Good girl. <laughs> now, uh, just type in point zero zero one. Okay, now what? Uh, now, just a second. Thank you. I got a tip for you for the manager. You know, I got a tip for you for the manager. He said not to use walnut flooring. Mm. It's not very good. It cracks really? easily. Yeah. <coughs> oh. See, maple wood is actually the best. Okay. What about uh, what about willow tree? I saw my neighbors with them, and I really wanted that that color. It was like it was like a it was like poop brown, but lighter. Uh, you mean, uh, light brown. Light brown. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you eat, like, too much corn, and it, it the colors mix. Uh, it has like, this yellow tint to it. I really like that color. Could you, could I see the blue shirt one time? Sure. There you go. Ah, this one right here. You see the, see the yellow dots? Yeah. You guys call it the, uh, I can't read this. What does it say? Coconuts? The coconuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's what I want, yes. Yeah, we have it over in aisle 352. 352. Oh. Here, come on, I'll show you. Do you think do you think my kids will like them? <sighs> do you think my kids will like them? I mean, this they that's why we got her to begin with, right? Seven kittens? Oh. I mean, seven isn't a lucky number. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It is a rare breed. That it is. Yeah. No one's 
that one's got polka dots. That one has polka dots. What? Are you kidding no me? No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I went out the store, I, I broke these that. open, and it has polka dots. Have you been drinking? A little bit, but... <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you yelling at me, Jim Bob? <laughs> Especially in my uh, bad ear. I just forgot your name, Super Run. <laughs> <laughs> my heart will go on for you, Steve, unlike your sunscreen that doesn't protect against harmful rays. <laughs> it's SPF 40. Sorry, but sunscreen aside, that obstreperous is looking at us. It's looking at us. <laughs> it is looking right at us. Holy! Oh, uh, it's a lot bigger than you. Oh, think. it's coming towards us. I think that's why it's getting bigger. <laughs> at, at a faster, slow. Yeah, yeah. Um, we better hide real quick if we uh, if we can. Uh, well, I only have a camera and binoculars, so. All right. Yeah. That is not a time for. <laughs> Obstreperous out there now. So. Oh god, they're big, a lot bigger. Yeah, you're telling me. He just, oh my god, oh. he just devoured the male ostrich. There's only two left. Well, my anaconda don't want none of this. What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> with you, Jim Bob? None of the, uh, I'll tell you what. Do you like raisins? How would you feel about a date? <laughs> well, when we get back to the safari camp, I'd be more than happy to share a cup of tea with you and <laughs> the giraffes a little bit, but I'm a little concerned about just leaving here. Hold on, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, I came out what all the way. What kind of tea? What kind of tea? Roll gray, roll gray, roll gray tea, but I think, you know I'm serious about having tea with you because Traveled to Africa together, and I, I think it's just kind of a milestone for our friend friendship. I thought that I had a dream. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> something to me, Steve. I can't help it. I'm just thinking about that tea. Grabbing your lobes for me? <laughs> You're grabbing your earlobes? No, for me? it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> but if we could make any kind of getaway, as. <laughs> <laughs> Students. Okay, um, we, uh, 
uh, we would love to, to teach you guys how to improvise and get you up here on this stage. Uh, we have shows here every Friday and Saturday night, the main troop, uh, at 8 o'clock and at 10 o'clock. On Friday night at 8 o'clock, we have a show called Improv Movie Night, where the actors get up on stage and they improvise a movie for you. Uh, this Friday, it's 90s action film. Uh, ooh, I know. At 10 o'clock, we do a show called Improv Showdown, where two teams fight against each other using improv games, kind of like what you saw up here tonight. Uh, Saturday at 8 o'clock, it's a show called Week in Review, where we get headlines from, uh, from the week, and we read them off, and then we do scenes based on these headlines. A very fun show. And then at uh, 10 o'clock on Saturday, we do a show called Whose Line Is It Chattanooga? Uh, very similar to the show you saw right here, just with the main troupe. Uh, thank you very much once for, oh, I forgot one thing. You can, I gave you a lot of dates and stuff about classes and shows. You can find out all this info uh, by liking us on the Facebook at Improv Chattanooga. We'll keep you up to date on all of our events. Uh, thank you very much for coming out, everyone. Have a wonderful night.